All right, so in this video we're checking out another audio product, and this one here is the Orimo Open Circlet Wireless Headphones. And these are these open ear type. They don't go actually into your ear canal. So for those of you guys that um, don't like earbuds and don't want things going into your ears and or you maybe want to hear your ambient sound in your environment uh, while you're jogging, cycling, or doing other activities, but you know you don't want the music or the audio to drown out outside sounds that you might want to hear. So for example, if you're a jogger or a cycler and you want to be able to hear traffic, if you have something jammed into your ear canals, um, you can't hear what's going on in the outside world. You can only hear the music or the audio that's being pumped into your ear canals. Uh, so this type of open ear headphone is going to be kind of useful for those, uh, those type of situations. Um, I, for one, uh, would use these when I'm cycling and, you know, I would want to be able to hear if a car is nearby or some kind of traffic or cars honking at me. This is going to be going to come and come in pretty handy for those situations. Um, I was a little bit surprised actually as to how good the audio was considering it is one of these open ear types where you you know, um, you can hear outside noise, and uh, the the clarity audio was actually better than expected. And I'll explain a little bit of that uh, a little bit later. But you know, it comes you know like this. There's a band that goes in the back. It's a one piece setup here. It's pretty easy to take on and off. Looks like this, nice and twisty, uh, very flexible, so it can fit a wide variety of heads. Uh, the section that goes over the ears also nice and flexible so uh, the soft touch plastic uh, sort of a rubber feel on the outside this is um, water resistant rated so it uh, can take splashes rain um, sweat of course if you're uh, running and stuff like that not submersible so you can't uh, dump dunk it into water it's not going to survive but yeah it, it, very comfortable to wear very easy to put on and off like so uh, as you can see I'm wearing a hat I'm wearing glasses and I'm not, not experiencing any sort of interference here on either side you can see it's quite flexible and we'll just snap back into place and you can be running around and everything and it won't fall off it's pretty secure now I suppose if you have some glasses with some wider temples some you know something a little bit different there might be a little bit of interference here obviously the both things are competing uh for your ear to hang on so obviously a different type of glasses with a different template here might be a problem um the hat here isn't a problem at all as you can see there's no interference at all here uh now if, if you're wearing like earmuffs or something like that of course that situation might be a little bit different hard to say how that would react there obviously if you have something cupping your ears like like head like earmuffs for example that would obviously defeat the purpose of having something like this and would block outside sounds but overall in terms of um, fit and comfort I really know complaints and in terms of like uh, running around and stuff like that I, I it doesn't really bounce around or uh, haven't had fall off or anything like that's pretty secure so if you're worried about those type of things I wouldn't be too concerned about that I think it's going to stay on for most people so the uh, advertised battery life on here is about 16 hours um, I think that's about right. I've been using this for a couple weeks now and I've only charged it one time and I've been pumping a lot of music through it, a lot of audiobooks and podcasts and definitely the uh, power on time is uh, definitely around that 16 hour mark. But it does have a fast charge capability through the USB-C port so you can just uh, plug it in for a few minutes and get another you know, several hours of audio if you want to uh, go ahead and uh, power it up again. So as I mentioned, the audio quality in this one was better than expected. Now, I, was, I had pretty low expectations, honestly, because uh, you know when you're dealing with something that's an open-ear type of design, uh, there's only so much you can get in terms of clarity pumping through because it is going through the air, and there's nothing actually like a, a cupping the sound and you know preventing outside noises from getting in. But it is actually better than expected. So. You know, for music, it was fairly clear. Obviously, you know, if you have like a full set of headphones on or earbuds, the fidelity and the clarity of that audio is going to be better. So there really is no 
uh, way around that, but this is better than expected for something of this type. I think that for something like this though, um, as long as you're not too concerned about the, you know, the purity of the audio, this is gonna be more than adequate for casual use, in my opinion. The, I think this is gonna be good for things like audiobooks, um, you know, um, podcasts, a lot of vocal type of audio. It was very clear in this one, I had no problems. It's, I think, loud enough. I, you know, I think if you're in a very noisy environment, it, you do have to raise the volume pretty much all the way to maximum to hear stuff. Um, but even at maximum volume, there's no distortion. So it doesn't break up. There's no like weird, weird distortions or anything like that. So very, still very clear. But I would, you know, depending upon your environment, if it's really noisy, you're probably gonna wanna raise the audio all the way up. In a quiet environment, you could be at half volume and hear everything pretty clearly. All right, so just a quick little audio sample. Um, not sure how accurate this is gonna be, but I figure it'll give you a little bit of a taste of what this sounds like. Now, in terms of the um, sound or the audio, the volume of the audio coming out of this uh, headphone system and being audible to other people outside of you, if you have this at maximum volume, other people can hear it. And it kind of sounds like, you know, when you're listening, like, uh, for example, when you're um, uh, on a cell phone and you're not, you're, kind, you're not on the actual speakerphone, but you have it on kind of loud volume, it sounds like that. It's not, it's not anything where they can tell what you're listening to. Maybe a little bit like, uh, you know, whether it's music or audio or vocal audio, they could probably tell, but it's not loud. It's just that you can kind of hear like this background noise coming from the headphones. If you have it at maximum volume, at half volume, it's unless they're right next to you, they're not going to be able to hear anything. It's pretty, it's pretty um, innocuous. It's barely noticeable at all. It's only when you're at full volume and it's a quiet environment and someone's nearby, they're definitely going to be able to hear you. But obviously, if you're full volume, you're probably in a noisy environment. And in that situation, the sounds that come from the headphones are going to be drowned out by the um, other sounds in the environment. So it's only going to come into play if you're at full volume and you're in a quiet room and there's someone like, you know, maybe a few feet away from you, then they'll definitely be able to hear it. Anyway, overall, I've been enjoying these. They sound really good. Uh, they've been working pretty well for me and I think I'll definitely be using these if I'm like biking or doing some sort of exercising. Now, if I want more, you know, uh, pure audio, then I go for earbuds. But of course, you know, there's, like I said, there's gonna be some of you in the audience here that don't necessarily want to have earbuds or don't like using earbuds, or perhaps using earbuds might cause discomfort or pain, then I would, you know, for, for those of you guys, definitely check these out. It's um, not on the super expensive side or not on the super cheap side either. It's a, right now it's $85 with a $20 coupon on Amazon. I think it's reasonably priced for what this is and for the quality of the audio. So I think it's you know right in the right ballpark in terms of the pricing. Link will be down in the video description if you want to check it out. That's going to do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.